welcome back to Crossout. Welcome back to the test server. But this ain't no ordinary test server. This is the sort of PR test server which has been showcased multiple times on Mr. G's channel, or which is usually mostly for the Russian YouTubers on Crossout. We are here finally. Woody Rojo granted me access the other day to the server. So from now on, we can begin to do videos from this server and check out all of the different stuff that is coming for Crossout whenever we get the opportunity to it from the devs. Today, I want to look at all of the stuff that we have on the server at the moment. There is a Knight Riders event rumored around the corner, potentially the Ravens or something along those lines. We're still waiting for all of the details, but I'm personally very excited for it. And I hope you guys are too. And with that, we can say that there are new shotguns coming and there is a new crossbow coming. And we also have the new pack with the new item, the King. The King is a mine layer, which we will be taking a look at in just a second. But as you can see, we can deploy a bunch of mines here with it, but we won't start with that. I want to start out by jumping into the new items that are coming that we know are with the whatever Knight Riders, uh, Ravens, whoever we will get. But as you can see from the icon here on the items right there, it is something that is coming with the what we as of right now know as the Knight Riders. Starting off with the first weapon the arrow thrown the arrow thrown is a clever design assembled by the hand of a nameless craftsman and found who knows where by the ravens this thing is not textured yet so we will have to see what it looks like when we get to uh, the live service and we get it or if this server gets updated before the patch launches launches i myself have my money on this thursday but we will have to see what happens when we get to there because the founders is ending on thursday so it would make sense for a new event to start there besides that this weapon is a an epic so we have a perk for it as well the projectile explodes after several meters and turns into pellets increasing its effective range so what this sounds like is that it shoots a slug and then that slug flies you know off hits the place and then it bursts into an aoe in front of it when it explodes or if you hit a target i'd assume for energy 280 durability 378 mass 1160 power scores all in all this gun both in stats and by the appearance of it resembles the fafnir quite a lot also with the mounting points Next up, we will be getting a special rarity of the Spitfire shotgun, which is a limited angle shotgun called the Leech. Lunatics claim it's their own original design, a sturdy blunderbuss, yet the Leech looks especially familiar. Deadly at close range, limited firing angle. While cooling down, the weapon's resistance to all damage types increased by 15%. Have we heard that before? We have indeed. It's from the rupture. Since this is in a special rarity, I'm assuming that this perk will probably reduce to between 10 and 12%. So just a little less than that. But all in all, this weapon is looking pretty much like all the other limited angle firing shotguns. Uh, we're getting a lot of new shotguns, which is interesting. I think it has to do with the shotgun change. We have seen on the previous test service that the Spitfire and the Rupture will have their optimal range increased, so they will deal further or deal full damage from longer distances. Then distance says that is basically what it means. Then, and this is the item that I am looking forward to the most by far at the moment. We are looking at the Toadfish. The Toadfish is a legendary crossbow, and this legendary crossbow shoots two bolts instead of just one and the thing about this crossbow is that if you shoot the first bolt and you hit then the second bolt will gain a pretty severe increase in its impulse impulse is when you hit an enemy so the enemy sort of gets you know blasted backwards because of the uh, impact of the bullet this is already a well-known phenomenon from the spike and this is only getting better with the toadfish and besides that we get two shots on each of them and only one shot takes up ammo by the way so you won't lose two if you shoot two times don't worry about that besides that the uh, weapon all in all resembles the spike in size and appearance quite a lot these are equally sized and this build the or not build wow but weapon is looking absolutely amazing i'm so hyped to try this definitely something we will be taking into clan wars i want to see if you can you know bully dogs a little bit with this or even hovers i think this can really throw around hovers if you if you hit a good shot on them like you already see with the cannon now and then finally in here from the server at the moment when looking at weapons we also have 
the King Mind Air. And the King Mind Air, we just have briefly seen in leaks, but we haven't seen anything official yet. But it's now here on the server. We have also been able to just track down some stats of it of the uh, on the pet test server, but we haven't really been able to slap it on a build and play with it yet. And as you can see, it is a rather devastating weapon if you hit directly with it. The cooldown is just a single second, so we can deploy rather quickly, but the uh, catch to it is that we can only deploy two, just like the cap cane. This also means that, you know, you have to be careful about how much you spam it, but do you end up in a situation where you are being chased down? You can actually just spam it because, as you can see right there, the cooldown sort of matches the time it takes for each of them to explode. So if you spam it, you will not lose out on any damage, given that the mine will immediately explode. Besides these items, we are on the test server also once again getting a look on the power unit. And the power unit is, as we saw on the test server, a plasma emitter booster and it basically reduces plasma emitter charging time by 26% it increases projectile speed by 30% maximum and optimal range by 20% this means that you can combine this with the helios the synthesis or the prometheus it goes well with all three of them it's just up to you which one you want to combine it with and besides that we actually don't have much else in here all in all, I am so excited for this. I, I think it's going to be so amazing to see. It's going to be absolutely great. And if you want to have a look at what you get in the pack that is coming to us, we can also just quickly cover that before we run off the video. Here it is, the VLP. And this is the deluxe version of it. <coughs> there is no regular version on the test server here as of right now. I would be surprised if we don't get it. But all in all, this new, uh, new sort of assault force pack thing is looking good. And I feel like this is a theme because this is already the second pack that we are looking at. Let's see, we also have the Assault Force Charlie, and now we are getting the Assault Force Tango. So a bit like the Horseman of Apocalypse, just with the Assault Force this time. But this build, as you can see, is made up of six twin wheels in total. We get the King Mine Layer, we get two Tacklers, we've seen those before. So they are coming back in the new pack item. We are getting some decor, some new parts, some old parts, and also more new parts, which is, are these grills. The ones you get in this pack are a bit larger than the ones we saw in the old Assault pack. Besides, we have a lot of new cool stickers, some from the old pack as well. Another hot rod engine or hot red engine, some twin lamps, which are new headlights, as you can see right there. We will be getting a quantum cabin. We haven't seen that in a pack before or the inventor pack. I think we saw it. So you, we haven't actually seen it before. I'm lying. And then we have the uh, ceramic armor, which is not the same as the composite armor which was in the previous pack even though they look a bit alike this is actually a new paint and then besides that we also have the dark green which is in my opinion looking quite good you can see it right there on the mine layer beautiful paint indeed uh, nice military kind of style without being completely black like some of the previous ones and then one again midnight in the pack as well quite often seen in packs so not so rare and finally, we also have some new parts, as you can see. And for me personally, I'm actually quite hyped about these parts because these are more fenders for wheels so that we can make good looking art builds. And especially combined with the upcoming changes to wheels, then we are in for a treat here, I feel like, with these new fenders. But that is all we have on the test server at the moment. But there is plenty of stuff to look at. and i just once again want to say thank you massive massive thank you to the devs for actually allowing me in on this server uh it's just great to see the amount of support that we've been getting so far and also to all of you guys i mean 2020 has been absolutely killing it we are getting good numbers on live streams we're getting good numbers on videos and i feel like we have a lot of good stuff coming for cross out if you don't know what i'm talking about with the ravens and everything you can actually check out my previous videos that i have done on factions and sort of all of the cross out news i have an entire playlist which you can find up in the top here as one of the suggested things that should pop up right about now uh so you can check out all of my news in there and you can always stay updated to them and if you haven't done it already i would highly recommend you to get a subscribe going on the channel right now so that you can always stay updated to all of what we will be doing in here i will be trying to cover as much as i can on the test server here as possible it depends on how much they allow me to actually release from in here because that is one of the things that i have to be wary about so they don't remove our access again because that would be terrible thank you so much for watching everyone i hope you enjoyed this and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye bye